today I want to talk about the different versions of wire you can buy. We run typically all the time 10,000s brass wire. Um, we buy a specific kind of medium grade zinc coated wire at a certain price point and we do pocket inserts like if you see right here what we're looking at we make a lot of um, inserts that go into molds for either logos or um, labeling of some kind on the tool and what I want to talk about is you can buy just a straight brass this is a straight brass wire for a certain price you can buy a zinc coated wire for another price or you can buy a very high-end um, zinc coated premium wire which has the ability to lower the feed of the wire through the machine which allows you to cut more and it can also increase the speed so the main thing about wire EDM is the ability to go fast everyone wants to go faster because if you can get more out of the spool you can get more out during the day which means you can make uh, make more more money in the company doing it that way uh, but the challenge that we find is there's a huge price difference from some of these wire spools this premium one I'm testing it right now it's two hundred and fifty eight dollars uh, the one that we normally run with the cost of everything going up brass has been affected and it the one I normally run went from like 135 now it's 185 and I'm trying to see how I can make these brass wires make sense for me in my shop and I'm curious what people run um, in other shops it, some of the high-end wire isn't going to make sense for for some shops but it makes a ton of sense for some shops that are running a ton of one part and with optimum flush and we're going to try to get into some of those settings and and uh, I'm actually going to run some test cuts so we can kind of compare what what will be um, the most beneficial for for your shop and for ours one question I want to ask everyone is is it more important to save costs on the wire just the wire itself or is it more important to save the cost in the machine time and the runtime? Um, that's a very challenging question um, and it's really difficult to answer because you can buy more expensive wire and get more through the machine less wear or much less expensive wire and it takes longer and some people don't care how long it takes and others they only have one machine like we do and we need to get as much through it as possible so that's a good question to ask here we have our three brass wires we got straight brass zinc coated zinc coated premium wire big difference in cost um, we're going to attempt to wire through this block um, and do a, a study on how fast we can go how long it takes and how well it burns first thing i'm going to do here is set up a this block in the fast hole machine to put our start holes in as you can see we're going to need to put a bunch of holes in in order to get our uh, wire to feed through those holes and uh, make our uh, 3 8 diameter hole that we're looking to put in there. Those are actually going to be like ejector pin holes um, and to rep represent like a, an, an injection mold. So here we go. Uh, when we fast hole, we want to make sure that that rod is as short as it can go and then we bring the head down as close as we can go this bet this is best for flush To make a straight comparison of the wire, we're going to use, start off with the standard settings from our MV2400R. And we are going to use the standard setup that is recommended. And it's in increments of quarter inch thickness. And in between the thicknesses is where our block lies at 1 inch 875. So we're going to go with a, a slightly oversized eighth inch over the 1 inch 875, so 2 inch settings. And 
try to make this as fair as we can with no modifications to the settings or the machine. We're here with Dan. We're getting ready to run our first hole with the, the high, the premium zinc coated wire. On our first hole, we're gonna do a pocketed routine. You can see on the screen. We're gonna do a um, pocketing quarter inch hole, which is gonna do a rough and a finish with three skims as our first comparison. One thing I wanted to point out is we have a good flush condition, so we're turning the Power Master off. Power Master is used when there's a poor fl flushing condition or changing uh, Z depths in the burn. So just for apples to apples comparison, we're gonna have the Power Master off for this good flushing condition. And also the E-Adjust is really the only things that we're gonna be messing with um, at all. We're not even gonna mess with it. It's gonna be right in the middle for these three different wires for these three test burns. With the premium wire, here's our pin. It's a good fit. And we're gonna start the next hole with a different wire. We'll switch to the zinc coated wire. I wanna give you the time on this one, which is the premium wire, uh, 42 minutes, 33 seconds. just finished it's about one minute different so from the premium zinc to just the zinc only about a minute so far so we're going to try just the regular brass at this point it's loaded we're going to start that one right now this is the last one this is just the brass wire we just did similar fits on all three holes but here's the times straight brass ran 46 minutes and 54 seconds zinc coated middle of the road brass or brass was 43 minutes 22 seconds and the high end wire was 42 minutes and 33 seconds so in conclusion the wire the brass wire runs slowest it runs about 165 a spool of 22 pounds the zinc coated wire is about 185 and that's 22 pounds and that ran a couple minutes faster and I'll, and I'll show you a chart in just a second and then the high-end brass was only less than a minute difference in this particular burn remember it's just a straight good good flushing condition with the three different wires uh, just to do an apples to apples comparison the one thing that we're going to do now is we're going to change some settings uh, on the machine to utilize the technology of the high-end wire we should be able to slow it down from six feed rate wire feed to, or I'm sorry, from eight to six on the wire feed, and then actually uh, move the, the E condition setting on the control up three notches as well. So we're gonna try to go a little bit faster and use, use this technology um, as much as we can. Just finished the second test of the high end wire. Um, it did work except we noticed that we could slow the feed of the wire itself from eight to six, which means it used a lot less wire to do the same thing. And that was, that was only on the roughs. So on the skims, it, it kicks the speed back up to get the correct skims. But we did notice that it actually took almost a minute more, which is surprising, but it used less wire. So it's, a, it's, not, it's not as a lot faster like I thought it would. So we'll, we'll uh, kind of come to a conclusion on what's good for our shop as we um, look at the results. Let's talk about the results that we got from our test burns. Um, but we started off with this, we'll start with the brass, straight brass wire. It took 46 minutes, 54 seconds, a rough and three skims on a cord hole, a 250 diameter on a block that was an inch 875 thick. Um, the next wire we used was the zinc coated wire, the SL wire, uh, and here's the prices. So we, we go at 165 for 22 pounds, or at 185 
and now we're at $258 for the specific wire I got. We got it from Belmont, um, and they've been super helpful with their knowledge base and the information they have. But we're, we're looking at what we've actually done in our shop, and what I'm trying to understand is, is it worth for us to utilize this expensive wire, the medium wire, or the straight brass wire? So it looks like I can pick up a, you know, roughly three three minutes just moving, let's say a twenty dollar difference in in the wire itself with the zinc coated. I can go a little bit faster, and that's really what we're after at our shop. We have one wire EDM machine here, so it makes sense for us to try to squeeze as much time as we can out of it. So for twenty dollars, if I can get more time, that makes sense. But I can't see spending almost a hundred dollars more per spool to not gain that much time. Um, this high-end wire does some very cool things. We've seen it go through pits and bad conditions through weld and uh, just bad porosity in, in some steel. So there is a benefit to this type of wire, but in the most cases for what we do, we're working with good materials. We really haven't had a, a big need for it. Um, but one thing that was very cool and it does make sense is that you can slow the wire feed down from eight to six and increase the E adjust on our Mitsubishi. And that actually, it, it actually helps use less wire, less wear on my rollers and all the bearings. So there's an entire maintenance factor for something like if you were running production, um, same parts over and over or large pockets or inserts, that wire does justify the cost at that point. But in most cases for us, we're gonna stick with the with the SL wire, the strength, the zinc coated. It's a little bit more money than the straight brass, but it does go faster. And having the one machine makes sense for us. Another huge factor about the wire is when we set it up and we run it, we want to be able to make a program in a spree, set it up on the machine, and and walk away from it. That it's going to run and be dependable. It's going to be consistent. We're going to get the hole sizes that we wanted, the insert sizes that we want. So. Having to go in there and adjust settings on all of the different things that we do and the different thicknesses, that would be a very big time consumer, which ends up costing us money and time. So um, one of the big things that to consider when sourcing wire, and I do recommend getting with your supplier, if it's Belmont or whoever, that you find out what your needs are exactly and see if they have something that will fit your needs. But for us, being, being able to walk away from it um, getting the, uh, predictable results are always the top things that we're looking for. Another key feature to the wire EDM is that we recycle all of the wire. So we do get some of the money recovered back. It's obviously not near the amount that you pay for the spool, but it's not a total waste. There is a recovery of that material as long as you're recycling it. It's definitely not gold, but it is valuable that you'd, you'd want to take advantage of that. Thanks for joining us for our episode of Learn to Burn. Uh, please remember to subscribe and like. We hope that our content has been helpful. Um, if you do have questions, remember to, to put them in the comments, and we will see you next month. Joining us for our episode. Dang, come on. Out of it, then it makes it makes it. Let's talk about these dis these results after we restart this one. I'm not sure what to say. Discuss the topic of different brands or different. This is going to be a blooper.